never trust all monuments you see around the country. For example, in Kenya, there is Obelski monument near railways at uh, Moy Avenue, which looks like a tall pillar. Those monuments were there even before Christ was born. They are demonic. They commemorate the dead. So when you go to Huru Park, all those monuments which are there, people did not come, wake up one day and build those monuments. Even the shape themselves will tell you a lot. So in Kenya also, when the first president died, they mummied the body. We all know that witches are the one who, who uses dead bodies. They don't bury the dead. They mummy the body. They dry the bodies. And these bodies have been used to rule people, to rule nations. So people think that Zejomo Kenyatta, who, when he died and his body was mummied, they think that the British did so because they loved the person. No. The British had been ruling and they are still ruling using that mummied body. So try to imagine you are a Kenyan leader and you have to rule the nation without any corruption. Remember even the parliament, parliament buildings themselves. When you Google and you zoom from above, that is, it looks very well like a pistol. What does it mean? So, not all this has to be trusted. Not all this monument has to be trusted. We let us be very careful, especially if you want to be in leadership position. You have to be spiritual to understand and how to break these monuments. If you enter parliament, especially the Senate, the chair, the Senate chair, the arms of the chair looks like a snake. The person who designed this chair did not come one day and decided to make it look like a, like a snake. There are reasons behind everything. Let us be very careful.